Hello guys, I hope you are doing good. Welcome to this new video. Today we are going to look at a very important aspect in JavaScript programming that is object mutation because this concept is going to help us in the upcoming problems that we are going to solve. It is one of the most uh, you know important topic because if you are aware majority of things in JavaScript programming language are objects only and they are represented as object. So the flexibility that object provides right in um, JavaScript is what it makes uh, the language to be versatile and uh, easily adopted by uh, uh, newcomers. Uh, because of this flexibility, the objects are considered as boon as well as curse because uh, it can be easily modified. We can easily access, we can make it make a you, good use of it but uh, also it can be easily modified by uh, other uh, uh, aspects in the programming and it's very difficult to trace what has resulted in the mutation so um, many frameworks libraries try to uh, uh, use a unique object every time uh, rather than mutating the previous one this helps to track what has changed and uh, it's easy to determine uh, or trace the changes and then update the uh, application and enhance the performance. So as you are aware objects in JavaScript are passed as reference to functions. Now as we do functional programming let's consider uh, this react itself. So if you are passing a function uh, an object as a reference to any function in react or any functional component and if you are mutating the received object itself so it will uh, uh, completely change the uh, concept right so if you mutate any value the mutation will affect the origin rather than at the destination and this can result in various bugs at the runtime for example let's start i'm creating this object as you can see this is object i have value as 10 now i have this function random any function okay and this function accepts an object and what i'm going to do is i'm going to say object a dot a equals to 20. now if i invoke this function and pass object to it as a parameter and later if i print this object you will see that the function was able to mutate it if I print it. So the value is updated when we had defined the object the value of a was 10 but when we pass the object to the function it was mutated and it value has become 20. Now one way to avoid this is wrap this in curly braces and spread the object so that a new instance of it will be passed to the uh, ob function that way um, a new copy of the object will be passed so it will help in uh, 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 you know preventing the mutation at the source now this is the one way but when you are dealing with the objects at a large scale right let's say you are uh, handling a state management in react with redux or anything else so in that case if you want to prevent the uh, mutation it is very difficult because every time if you send a new instance of this uh, object uh, and the library the redux or any state management library will not be able to determine what has changed because this is creating a fresh instance of the object so that may result in uh, uh, frequent updates in the component because it will treat uh, it as a new object every time it receives that so one way to solve that is there is one library introduced called emer.js in the upcoming videos i'm going to solve a problem around emer.js where we are going to you know implement the library we'll see how we can create something similar but for now in this video what we are going to do is we are going to learn how we can restrict the mutation of the objects because this is going to help us in the upcoming videos now one way to do the restriction is there are two ways uh, we can do restriction in javascript uh, one is little flexible it provides you option to update the values of the defined properties of the object for example in this object right you can see that a's value is 10 so 
the one method that is available is object dot seal that helps us to seal the mutation but it is flexible enough to allow you to update the values what i mean by saying that is let's say if i delete object dot a so this won't affect because the object is sealed the mutation of or deleting the property won't take place but on the other hand if i just update the value of the existing defined properties okay i cannot define a new property also let's say if i do object dot b equals to 20 and here i am printing the complete object so you will see that the b won't be defined but a's value will be updated to 15 so all we can do is we can update the value of the existing defined properties we cannot define new property we cannot delete the defined properties so that's what object dot seal does this is the static method which is provided by javascript language you can use it now what if we have a nested object over here let's say b is there and b holds the value c of 20 so in this case the object dot seal does not work it only works on the single scope of the object for the nested objects it won't work let's try the example so for example let's say if i add object dot b dot d equals to 30 and if i print this you will see that d will be added as a new property under the b so this is allowing us to add or remove the property also the update the property that means the object dot seal only works on the single scope so it does not go nested to the child or grandchild and so on so one way you can fix this is by defining a custom function that can recursively seal so deep seal and this will take the object it will return object dot seal and it will return the sealed object and in between we can iterate for let key in object and here const value equals to object key and then if type of val equals to equals to object then we can recursively call the deep seal and we can restrict the object or we can seal the nested values as well so if the defined uh, our inner values of the object is of type object that is it's a nested object then we can deep seal that so now if I deep seal this you will see that uh, this property new property D won't be added to the uh, uh, this nested B because this is also deep sealed okay so this is deep sealed now this is how you can do the deep sealing now let's say you don't want to allow the updating of existing keys that has been defined so in that case what you can use is you can use deep freeze so object dot freeze is available sorry you can use object dot freeze so what object dot freeze does is it completely freezes the object it does not allow any type of mutation not the adding removing or updating all three are restricted so deep freeze and let's deep freeze this object and here if when if i do object dot a equals to 20 so here the currently the value of a is 10 if i up, try to update the value to 20 you will see that it won't take any effect so the object's value remains 10 itself it's not affected so this is how you can restrict the modification of the object properties uh, being at single level or at the nested level you can define a function and do that in the upcoming videos we'll start with the uh, uh, 
more interesting problem and uh, design patterns that you can use in the javascript so this object uh, mutation this will help us uh, in the design patterns as well as in the upcoming problems i hope you have learned something new today thank you for your time